Hey guys, it's Matt from Infinite Explorers and today we are at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota. We're going to be checking out the Rockwood G15 FBS pull behind camper. And Mitch is here, he's going to give us a tour of everything and we'll start on the exterior first. Yeah, so starting up in the passenger front corner, you're going to have kind of a tall little storage area up front there. You are going to have a solar plug on the side here. So the camper does come standard with 200 watts of solar. You can order an additional 200 watts from the factory, and then you can also purchase a portable solar panel that plugs in just right there to help charge your batteries. You're gonna have some extra pass-through storage here. That's gonna go underneath the bed area and run all the way through to the other side. The flip-up steps are gonna come standard on pretty much every Rockwood now. So those just flip up and latch and ride like that. The door just closes right in front of them. The legs are easy to adjust. You can just grab and pull to extend. Otherwise, push in this switch here in order to attract the legs. All of the Rockwoods are gonna come standard with a tire pressure monitoring system. So basically that transmits to a wireless monitor that you have in your tow vehicle. So as you're going down the road, you can monitor things like tire pressure and temperature to help keep an eye on things. You are gonna have an outside speaker as well as a power awning with an LED light strip underneath. The camper is gonna come standard with a um, propane flat top griddle. That's gonna mount on this rail right here so you can do some cooking outside. There is also a small metal prep table that goes next to it. And then you do have um, some power outlets out here as well. Moving around to the back, um, all the Rockwoods are gonna come standard with the Furion observation camera mount. So it does not come with the camera, but it's all pre-wired. So the camera is very easy to install. You're gonna have a ladder to the roof so it is a full walk-on roof, so you can get up and do any sort of uh, ma regular maintenance you need to do, like check the seals. The GeoPros are gonna come standard with a receiver hitch in the back. So that's rated for 300 pounds, so it's great for bike racks or a storage platform or things like that. You do have a water sprayer in the back here, so it comes with a, a hose that just quickly connects to there and it'll serve as basically your outside shower for the camper. And then all of your other water connections are gonna be in the back here as well. So you're gonna have your city water connection, your black tank flush, and then a separate antifreeze port um, that you use for winterizing the camper. So instead of having to take hoses off of the water pump, you can just hook a hose up to that and pump antifreeze into the camper that way. In the rear corner, you're gonna have your six gallon suburban water heater. That'll run off of propane or electricity. Um, your sewer drains are gonna be underneath right there. There is gonna be a uh, sewer hose holder up underneath the front of the camper as well. This is gonna be the other side of your pass-through storage. So that runs the entire width of the camper and goes underneath the seating area inside. And then you do have basically an identical storage compartment to the one on the other side on this side as well. You have a switch in the front corner for your front docking lights. So if you're hooking up at night or just want to illuminate the campsite a little bit, you can turn that on. It's going to have a power tongue jack that also has a small light on the front. It's gonna come standard with two 20 pound propane tanks and it's gonna have room for two batteries on the front as well. All right, so here we are inside the uh, 15 FBS. So when you first come in, um, you're gonna have a few things here. So on the right, this is gonna be your Murphy bed combined with your um, recliner sofa area. So one new change that they've made is they've added this table um, it's locked right now, but you can actually loosen this and swing it every which way and swivel it depending on how you'd like. You do have recliners in the sofa here. And then the Murphy bed does fold down, so you just lay the sofa flat 
and undo these latches on either side and the Murphy bed comes down. It does have struts to assist it so it's nice and light. Uh, we did do a video on the 2517 uh, mini light and we show you how that works in that video so you can go check that out. On the left as you come in you're going to have a few things. So you do have your 12 volt TV kind of opposite of your seating area. So it is 12 volts so it runs off of the batteries as opposed to um, needing 110 volt power to watch TV. There's some outlets here and some nice counter space right as you come in as well as some drawers for storage. Your control panel is going to be right in to the left here so that's going to have some basic things like lights, switches for your water pump, water heater, things like that. Um, there is an app you can get on your phone to connect to that so you can actually control a lot of things like the slide outs and the awning um, just off of your phone using that app making our way into the camper. So this is a new model, so they, they did the rear kitchen in this one. It is going to have the 12 volt refrigerator, so that's going to run off of the batteries as opposed to propane or 110 volt power. It's going to be bigger compared to the old style absorption fridges and get cool a lot faster. You are going to have a three burner cooktop as well as a convection microwave in place of a, a traditional oven. In the back here you're going to have a nice window looking out the back as well as some counter space next to your sink here. You are going to have a, a full outlet in the countertop as well so that'll give you some 110 volt outlets as well as some USB and then when it's laying flat it's actually going to be a wireless charging port for your phone. And then in this corner, you're going to have your bathroom. So it is a nice dry bath, so your shower and toilet are separate. You are going to have heating and air conditioning standard in this camper. Your thermostat is going to be on the wall right here. Uh, you do have solar included as standard on all the Geo Pros, so it's going to come standard with 200 watts of solar. You can order an additional 200 watts right from the factory or add that at any point. It's all pre-wired. And your solar charge controller is going to be inside right here, so you can program, you know, depending on what type of batteries you have, how it's going to charge, and you can monitor that just right here on the wall. Start your recording then, and then sure. just do that. Yeah, I thought they were gonna pull around. Thank you guys for watching this camper walkthrough. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. If you want to purchase any units from Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota, just mention the Infinite Explorers to them, and they'll give you an extra hundred dollars off your unit that you purchase. Thanks for watching.